Well, have you seen the news this weekend? The mainstream media is just all over the place about this National Association of Realtors potential settlement um, in the case dealing with, by and large, commission. Now, the headlines from the uh, mainstream media, they're all wrong, and they're, they're crazy wrong. Let me, let's run through these things. CNN, 6% commissions are gone. Um, CBS, buyers and sellers to negotiate fees. And my favorite of all, New York Times, drive down cost of housing. Really, I don't think that this settlement is going to have much of an impact any way around it. So let's, let's just break it down and see what's going on here. So historically, there's never been a thing as a fixed price to sell a house. You know, the CNN mentions 6%. If you actually go and look at the statistics out there, it's never been 6%. It's always been less than that because you know why? Because historically, buyers and sellers have been able to negotiate their fees. It's nothing new. For buyers, we use an agreement called the Buyer's Agency Agreement. It says, hey, I'm working for you. This is what I'm gonna do for you and this is what my fee is. Now, sometimes, on the listing side, the listing agreement will say, and we'll pay the buyer's agent X amount. Sometimes there might be a difference between those two amounts and it's up to the buyer's agent if they're gonna collect from their buyer that difference. Some do, some don't, just depends on the case. It depends on the situation because you know what? Again, it's all negotiable. Nothing is changing in that regard. So historically, the seller sees a benefit by paying the uh, fee or the commission to or of the buying of, of the buyer's broker. Historically, that's been the case because let me just give you a because here. Um, if you think about when you bought your first home, you didn't have that extra money. You were an FHA buyer, you're a VA buyer. You didn't have money to pay somebody to represent you. Nobody's going to work for you for free. That's just that's not American. People want to get paid for their work, and by the seller paying that, that was a way that buyers could get into that house and still be represented on their largest purchase in their lifetime um, for something they don't never done before, and somebody was looking after them to make sure that they didn't get well screwed. So now. And this has always still been the case. You know, the seller, you know, is going to be encouraged to like, you know, you don't have to pay that buyer's fee. Let them get it on their own. And there's going to be sellers that don't see the value in offering a buyer's agent compensation. And that's fine and dandy. It's a free country. You do what you want. Nothing is changing in, in that regard. So what is changing though is that buyer's agency agreement that I've used for like the last 20 years. Well, now it's going to be used, you know, essentially nationwide as a, as a way for the buyer's agent to get paid, whether it comes from the seller through the seller's offer of compensation or where it just uh, bumps up the price, purchase price of the house, you know, how many ever thousands of dollars to cover that fee. That's going to, what is going to happen. It's no big difference from what it is now to what it's going to be. Some of the negotiations are going to be looking a little bit different. Some of the disclosures are going to look a little bit different. One of the big things for us real estate agents, we don't know what that um, seller is offering as a compensation thing in the MLS. That was one of the sticky points because I don't know why lawyers, they do what they want to do. They thought it wasn't a good idea to you know, show that information. Well, you're going to see it at the closing table anyhow, so what difference does it make? You know, who are we kidding here? So now it's more going to be a verbal thing. Say, hey, Bob, what are you paying compensation wise, if anything? And it'll, it'll go back and forth that way. And then you know how to structure that deal so that the buyer's agent will get paid. And at the end of the day, nothing's changing. It's the deck chairs on a Titanic being rearranged for headlines. And oh, did I mention all the millions and millions and millions of dollars going to the attorneys? That's what's making this happen. So don't panic from the evening news. Um, you know, the real estate process is going to get a little bit more complicated with paperwork and whatnot. But other than that, it's just going to be pretty much how it's always been. The buyers and the sellers are free to negotiate their fees. That's all I got for you today. Got any questions? Drop them in the comments. Take care.